Yo, what up guys, it's Caesar back with another NFT video, and I know I said that I wouldn't be covering these profile picture collections unless they had some crazy incentives to them. Now, the one we're looking at today doesn't honestly have too much going for it, except for like the fact that 75% of these are male and 25% are female, making like adding for some cool, you know, like rarity options and stuff. But we are talking about the Hall of Fame Goat Lodge collection today. Now, when I first saw this, I kind of looked past it because I was like, oh, I, you know, I thought it was just like going to be like a one for one airdropped NFT that was like a side project of the GOATS collection, which if you want to hear more about that project, check out some of my older videos. I made a few videos on the GOATS comparing them to the Deadheads, Cool Cats, whatever. But so anyways, this Hall of Fame GOAT Lodge is a whole new um, entity. It is a completely different GOAT collection. And honestly, guys, I might get some hate for this because I know I have some strong GOAT supporters, but I personally think these guys look better than the goats. Don't doubt me when I say that. But I personally believe these guys are pretty cool looking, I won't lie. Typical stuff we've come to see from their website, pretty, you know, generic. But looking at the roadmap, they talk a lot about DAO and they talk about VR and everything. So it seems like there will be some metaverse, VR, possibly gaming incentives in the future, as there is with most of these projects. But as I mentioned, this really isn't too incentive heavy. I just wanted to get it out there because I think it's the best looking goat project. And the floor price is only... 0 0.05 and it's already the 12th highest rated project on OpenSea in the past seven days or it might be 24 hours excuse me either way but regardless they've done 636 volume in ethereum so like definitely over a million dollars right here 23,000 times 636 we have 1.5 mil basically we'll round up a bit 2.2 thousand owners that's pretty good considering this project just came out a few days ago now i apologize for forgetting to mention this in a lot of my videos i always love when a project has this it says that when you buy a goat you own all the ip and possess all commercial rights for the image so you always love to see that that's a big thing i love to find in an nft project you don't want to have work that you can't use commercially i think or like i know that you might not be interested in that but i definitely think it's something to look for um, it, it tells a lot about what the creator of the project wants to do with their artwork, if they want to make money off it, or if they want to empower the buyers of their work. And there's a only, and there's only a 5% royalty on all the secondary transactions and it will be used to fund the goat verse. So we'll see about that, what metaverse incentives they have. So maybe there will be some good things about these, but I just wanted to tell you guys about this project because they're still relatively low. They're the best looking goats. And, uh, no, no disrespect to the, the ghost people. I was just trying to get a running gag for this video and, and be a little bit different since I know I have pretty stale personality. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stick around for all the newest NFT updates, news, collections, how to mint, what is the Polygon blockchain, technical stuff, cool stuff, anything. Let me know in the comments what I should be covering. If you guys had a good day today, like literally just let me know anything. I'll be glad to get into a discourse with you. Sorry, I keep looking out my window. There's some, some people doing some shit out there. Okay, but anyways... Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.